For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 13 of the second season here at Napoli on FIFA 17. It's been a few days, we've finished the career mode RTG with Cambridge United. The new one will be starting as soon as my Real Oviedo kit turns up in the post and I can start wearing it on camera. Uh, we will be pushing forward in this series today. Obviously there's been a couple of videos over the past uh, two days with regards my time in LA for EA Play and my experiences with FIFA 18 at EA Play as well, so do check those previous two videos if you missed them. But today we'll be pushing forward with the Napoli series. No face cam today, uh, it's still like 35 degrees right now. I did go on uh, cam on stream a couple of days ago and regretted it because <laughs> I was so damned hot. So uh, no face cam today, but we'll start with Sampdoria at home, then we've got a two week break until Pescara away from home. Uh, is it a two week break? Yeah, it's a two week break, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, an international presumably will happen in between the, uh, this game and the next one. Hopefully, nobody gets injured. We are missing a couple of players at present, including Lorenzo Insigne and Koulibaly, two of my best players, unfortunately. So, we're having to push further forward into this series, missing a couple of starters. But, our season so far has been spectacular. Played 10, won 10 in Serie A so far. Juventus, though, very much keeping up with us. We've conceded just two goals in the 10 games. I've never had a start to the season like this before in any series ever. We'll play Sampdoria oh, in... Well, we'll play them in... Oh, God, what kids do I play? I'll play them in that. It's probably the best because it's opposite to ours. But hopefully we can get a good result here. Again, I'd like to obviously keep up the, the winning streak, let alone the unbeaten streak. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. The Rail Oviedo series will start in the next few days. But like I say, I'm waiting on the shirt arriving in the post. But for now, let's jump into this first game against Sampdoria. Salah down the line. Van Dijk is out here with Pratt, but can't get to the ball quickly enough. Salah in the box, waiting for that squared ball across. He didn't take it, and thankfully, really, he's made the save at the near post. Otherwise, that could have been rather awkward, although I went to cover off the uh, the square and just basically let him run clean through on goal. Really, will catch that. First chance for Sampdoria comes and goes. Give that a big throw there with Ruli, and good touch and turn by Bellotti. I'd think that, and Dries Mertens should have the pace on Salah to get there, and he does. We turn his side, it's good footwork from him. I see the overlapping run coming on the outside, but... Just can't keep possession, unfortunately, with Dries Mertens and Sampdoria will come forward again. Schick with a heavy touch. Committed Virgil van Dijk to the tackle, and I shouldn't have done. Martinelli and Schick link up to get the ball to Roger. Sampdoria seemingly the better side in the opening stages. Hopefully that doesn't last long. Lucas with the throw back to Jorginho. I'm actually going to whip this in. Oh, it's a great delivery, and Marek Hamšík could have been underneath that if it wasn't for Salah and his positioning. Hamšík will take the corner himself. Belotti's up at the near post. Jorginho heads away, but Jorginho will have some space here. The space, unfortunately, disappeared as soon as his first shot was taken as the defender over his shoulder closed him down. A long way wide, sadly. But down the line to Salah. Johnny caught square. Oh, that touch from Rogers. Excellent. Not too sure why he's decided to pass it when he was clean through on goal. He gave it to Dennis Pratt and he has spooned it over the top of the bar. Explain to me in the comments how, in that situation, he's decided the pass was the right option. I've absolutely no idea why, but I'm glad he decided to do it because it meant that they wasted their chance. Lucas steals it off the defender, trying to get it off the second as well, and he's done well. It's Diwara, Hamshik out wide. He's caught there, Diwara, and that should be a foul. It is. I'd like to take it quickly, but not with Bellotti, unfortunately. Uh, Husay will look to come down the line, but Lucas had tucked inside, obviously, in that previous move. And now we've lost the ball again, but we've won another free kick. Is this the sort of position to have a shot? Maybe. I will take it quickly, though. Lucas will get that to Diwara and work it back across here to Dries Mertens. Get it out of his feet quickly as well, blocked by Martinelli. Thought I might have been able to squeeze a shot off there, but well defended. Diwara out wide to Johnny. Move that forward into Dries Mertens. Jorginho, in fact. Around the corner to Johnny. Pull that back. There's Dries Mertens. And... Oh, somehow he's not been able to find the target there. Not entirely too sure how he's spooned that so far wide. That's disappointing. Half an hour in, nil-nil. Get forward to Mertens. Lay that back to Jorginho and squeeze it forward to Mertens again. A lot of defenders around me here. Jorginho's making a nice run. And I'll play it through to Bellotti, who's onside here. I'm going to try and turn his side on his right. That has to be a penalty. 
He's been cleaned out there. That was an awful challenge. The ball went one side, the man went the other, and the defender had no idea what to do. <laughs> I mean, uh, he's a stone waller. Bellotti to step up and to give us a 1-0 lead with a very well-executed spot kick. Ten minutes to go till half-time. 1-0 Napoli. It's a nice ball through. Here's Pratt. Squares that back to Torreira. That's comfortable for the keeper. Very comfortable indeed. Really will bowl this out wide. Jorginho will get it down the line. That's nicely done. If we could get a second goal before half-time, then I get a feeling that might be game. Lucas made a great run, but I can't feed it through to him. Lucas. Think that over there. Flick that on. Jorginho out wide to Johnny. Drive inside. There's Jorginho again. Poke that to Bellotti. Now, was he onside? I'm not sure. Oof. Thumping finish, though, from the Italian. There's that second goal before half-time that I was after. And that, I think will be that with regards to the outcome of the overall result. What the final score will be, I'm not sure. They've been half decent at creating chances, but not necessarily any good at actually taking them. So there's still the chance they could get themselves back in this, but a two-goal advantage definitely gives us a barrier. Diwar is there. Bellotti is on a hat-trick, trying to hit this early. Oh, fires it wide of the post. If we'd have scored a hat-trick inside the last 10 minutes of the first half, that would have been quite spectacular. Here's Pratt. Oh, that's a very good cross. A very good cross. And I may have headed that in the back of my own net. Oh, it's a goal kick. I thought I'd gotten on the end of that. That's a let off. He came very close to finding the back of the net, though. Net there, there forward. But thankfully for me, it bounced over the top of the bar. That could have been very, very awkward and would have brought Sampdoria right back into things. As long as we have the two goal barrier, I'm quite comfortable. But, I mean, obviously, it only takes that one goal to put things back in the balance again. Lottie across there to Jorginho, around the corner to Hamshik. Mertens has made that run out wide again. Johnny's going to make the run in behind, and I'll turn and get it back to Dries. That's not Dries, but Hamshik could find him. There we go. Oh, and he's just managed to squeeze it home. 3-0. Now the game really is done and dusted. Managing to uh, beat the goalkeeper to it. I had to hit that very, very early with Mertens there. I'll be honest, the ball that went to Hamshik was meant for Dries, but has uh, worked out in uh, my favour, as it happens. He's only his third goal in Serie A so far this season. Not very prolific. Uh, as an individual, Dries Mertens, but we are very prolific when it comes to scoring goals as a team. That is our 30th Serie A goal in 11 games. Here's Roger. Could squeeze that through. Oh, that's a great ball. Good save by Ruley. If it wasn't for our goalkeeper in this game, they could quite easily be level at 3-3. Torreira with a wild effort. Perhaps they're getting a little bit frustrated now. He's made five saves. There you go, top left. They could very well be in front in this game, Sampdoria, but they aren't. They're, in fact, 3-0 down and won't be getting anything from this game. Roger out wide to Ruggini. Dinked in. Virgil van Dijk is there, but only as far as Lenetti. I'd have had a shot there, to be honest, personally, but he decided against it. He may still get the opportunity to do so. It has done, and if it weren't for a good save from Ruli for the umpteenth time in this game, Sampdoria would have scored a goal. Lenetti to take the corner himself, and it's a decent delivery, but Jorginho's underneath it, and there's nobody upfield, so I think that might be the end of the game momentarily by the time someone gets to this. Nobody's running after it from my end. Their keeper just stayed on his line, and the referee surely... Any minute now, we'll actually blow the full-time whistle. We'll get a 3-0 win here. A very well-deserved 3-0 win. Although, we did have to be... Well, I, not at my best, because I don't control the goalkeeper. Geronimo really had to be at his best to ensure that Sampdoria didn't get themselves a couple of goals in that game. I wouldn't be surprised if they had more shots than me. They had very nearly as many shots as me, and just as many on target. But... None of them went in, and that's the most important thing as far as we're concerned. We make it 11 from 11 in Serie A. Can we make it 12 from 12 in the next game? That's nicely done. Bellotti back to Lucas again. To Hamshik. There's Lucas, and space for Bellotti. It's the angle's against him, but I could play in Lucas here. Oh, he's missed it, but he's fallen kindly for Hamshik, and that was rather fortunate. Nine minutes in, we make it 1-0, but that was with a large slice of luck. The... I, didn't have the angle there with Bellotti, or at least they didn't feel confident with the angle there for Bellotti. And the ball was played behind Lucas, but Hamshik tucks it away nicely on his left foot. Really good finish, in fact. 1-0 Napoli. Benali out wide to Crescenzi. Back inside to Benali. Good move this from Pescara. Oh, that's a great ball in. Oh, what a goal! Giardino! Wow! How has he turned that in from there? Back in the day, he was tipped to be the next big thing. 
for Italian's front line, or for Italy's front line, sorry, in Italian football. That is an unbelievable finish. To turn that in around the corner line, the outside of his boot, and somehow squeeze it between keeper and post. That's one of the best goals I've ever had scored against me on FIFA. It's not the most flamboyant, not a massive long ranger, but for sheer technique and audacity to even try it, it's definitely one of the best goals I've ever had scored against me by the CPU. It's 1-1 just four minutes after we went in front. Corner for Napoli. Hamshik to stand it up into the middle. I'm actually not that down there with Aspi to Jorginho. Oh, it was on target. The keeper had gone down. I think he probably would have gotten to it had the defender not been in the way. But the defender felt the need to try and get rid of it. Aspi into Hamshik here. I get that through the gap just to Belotti. Can we time the pass correctly? We can. It's Hussai of all people, the right back that's up forward here. And he hasn't got the strength to hold off Johansson. We'll stay at 1-1 for now. Could cross. Oh, that's a decent delivery too. And Aspi can only head behind. And he may have had a little push in the back there from Giardino. But nothing was given. So Alberto Aquilani will whip the ball in. Decent delivery, but headed away. Only as far as Brugman. Up to Memeshai. Gets the turn in, and I've missed the tackle, but thankfully, Memeshai drills that past the post. Pescara wasting another chance here. Giardino across to Benali. Nice tackle, but it's dropped straight back to Benali. And oh, strike and a half. Aspi went for the uh, for the slide tackle, and the referee is going to give the free kick for it. I tried to just block the shot, but it's going to be a free kick here for Pescara. Aquilani to take it. He does have a decent free kick on him, and it's on target. It's hit the bar. Wow, Pescara close to taking the lead here after the half-hour mark. Brugman would find a teammate in Smelly Pepe. Thankfully, he's tackled by Virgil van Dijk. Can we get them on the counter now? Maybe take the lead at the other end? I'm not sure. Lucas has the legs to get away from one defender. And can he get away from another? I'm going to try a Berber spin. And it could work. Are we going to get a free kick there? No, they're going to get a free kick. Instead, going the other way. And they're going to take the advantage and play on. Very, very nearly 2-1 Pescara, thanks to that free kick from Alberto Aquilani. But off the woodwork, it bounced. Let's tackle. Let's drop kindly. And Bellotti could be played in here. Try and... Oh, that's brilliantly done. Find the bottom corner. Oh, he didn't. He's bent it wide of the post. Not the most clear cut of opportunities from the edge of the box with a couple of defenders around him, but that turn there was brilliant. And then just trying to guide it into that bottom corner. I think the keeper had his angles covered. We'll stay at 1 1 as we head towards half time. Nice tackle by Hamshik, and that's really cut their entire defence open. Bellotti, not sure which way to go. We'll lay it back and then get it round the corner. Mertens surely to make it 2 1. Yes, great finish. A mistake in the midfield from Pescara, and they've been too adventurous with the positioning of the rest of their defence. Completely cut open there. And thankfully, on the counter-attack, we're able to get ourselves back in front. Will the lead last more than four minutes this time? We'll find out. Again, they've given it away in a dangerous position. They're creating their own downfall here, Pescara. And again, I'm played in, and Bellotti will make it three. There's only so much I can do offensively on my own to ensure that we get victories. And... At times, you do need the CPU to just make a mistake or two to give you what you need to take the lead. And that is exactly what's happened here, twice in the space of seven minutes. It's not me being great, it's the CPU making mistakes. And it's cost them here because they've been difficult to play against Pescara and hard to break down. They equalised once, they've come close to scoring more goals, as did uh, the team in the first game, to be fair. But... As was the case in that first game, it does appear that it's going to be a scoreline that is very much in our favour. Aquilani. Oh, no, I've missed my tackle. Aquilani, finish and a half. Well, as soon as I start chatting about the CPU making mistakes to gift me a couple of goals lead, I then go make one of my own and they score another one. They've scored as many goals in this game as I've conceded in the previous 11. As if I missed that tackle like that. But what a finish. Take nothing away from that finish. Absolute belter from Alberto Aquilani. Stunning hit. It's 3-2 here with 20 minutes to go. Nice little knockdown. Thought for a moment Lucas was going to be offside there, but evidently he wasn't. Let's little scoot turn to get back inside. Through the gap to Hamshik. And back heel that. It's not a back heel, but it's into Jorginho. We have our two-goal lead back again. We just can't stop scoring goals this season at Napoli. It's 4-2 now. The two-goal lead is restored just seven minutes after they cut it back down to one. This season at Napoli has just been filled with goals. It's ridiculous. There's the final whistle. 4-2 the final scoreline. Pescara 
gave it a real good go in that game. As was the case in the previous one, to be fair. But unfortunately for both our opponents today, they've come out with a defeat despite good levels of individual and team performance. A 4-2 win to follow up with the 3-0 win we got in game number one. Up next will be a game against CSK Moscow in the Europa League group stage, which we already qualified through, as you can see, or will be able to see from the table when it eventually loads. We're on 12 points, CSKA are on 4, Liverpool are on 4, and Rangers are on 3. So it's still up for grabs for that second spot, but we have guaranteed top spot already. And we're also top of the league in Italy too. Juve drawing 1 and winning 1 in today's episode. So, or no, actually, they'd already played 11, hadn't they? So they've drawn their game for match day 12. We, of course, have continued to win, and we stay top of the table now with a five-point lead. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more. Drop the video, I've already said that. <laughs> I'll see you next time. It's hot, forgive me. My brain is all over the place. Ta-ra!